What's going on today guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a breakdown of the replacement for the uh, fuse on the M12 uh, Milwaukee uh, soldering iron here. Uh, what's happening is when you flip it in the on position, you flip it up, uh, all the lights blink as they should. Uh, the green ready light will blink for about 10 seconds and then normally it's uh, hot to the touch and it's already heated up. But what's happening is it's consistently bleaking. Uh, so the fuse is blown on the inside, so it never gets hot. The heat never transfers up. Uh, so we're going to be replacing that fuse today. Um, I've replaced uh, two of them already. Um, I've got the fuses here. Uh, these are rated for 133 degrees. Uh, you can go up a little higher to about 150 if you wanted, uh, but I'll put these in a link in the description. I got these from Amazon. It is a 10-piece set and they were like $5.99, so they were pretty cheap for 10 of them. Uh, they do have some different ones that are like $30 or $40 for like two of them. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and try these and see how they work, and I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, but let's get to it. So we'll use one of these. Um, now, some of the videos that I've watched, uh, they have you take out all of the bolts here. Uh, which are a, uh, a T10 Torx. Um, I wouldn't take any of these out. Uh, I would just take the hidden one, which is going to be behind the warning label here. So you're going to want to peel that up, and there's a hidden one. And that's the only one that I'm going to take off. Uh, when you take off all of them, um, the lights here come off. There's uh, this switch here. Uh, there's a spring behind the switch. There's a light here, and it all kinds of it seems to fall out. Uh, so it's just a lot easier just to do the one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you can take that screw out, you're going to undo this here and take that out. You'll take the tip out. You're gonna take this piece all the way out. So you've got the three pieces here. And then you're just going to kind of pry it or maybe get like a small screwdriver and it pops out. Um, I like to have this closed so the screw uh, still sits in there so you don't lose it. And I also like to make sure it's all the way down. Uh, when you do put this back in, as you can see, uh, the chip there has got a notch in it. <clears throat> that notch is going to sit uh, on the inside of the slot there. So it's only going to go in one way. Uh, now I have the super glue here. Uh, the super glue is actually for this light here. Uh, since I've already replaced uh, my other one, as you can see here, I've already replaced the fuse in that one. And with that, uh, I've actually replaced this one as well, and it, it's already went bad. Uh, so that's why I'm only going to replace it with these because I have 10 of them. But I would get one that's rated a little higher in degrees. Like I said, this one's 133. Uh, so maybe get like 140 or 150. Um, but this little light is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so the best thing to do uh, when you take it off, just hit it with a little bit of super glue and wait about five or 10 minutes so it doesn't move around a lot. Because it seems to, once you get this in and you start putting the cover back on and you start moving the wires and putting them in place, it always pops out and it's a pain. So throw a little super glue on there and you should be okay. Uh, now, uh, the irony of it is you're going to need a soldering iron uh, to replace the fuse in your soldering iron. Uh, luckily, I've got one uh, for work and I've got one for the house. Uh, if you want, I did, a, I did a, a comparison between the Milwaukee uh, battery powered and a snap-on uh, butane. Uh, in one of my earlier videos, if you want to watch uh, that one, that one's pretty nice. Uh, this one, it's already lit up. It only takes about 7 to 10 seconds, uh, and it's already hot. So you're going to need some soldering iron. Uh, you're going to need some strippers. You probably need some cutters. Um, you might need a, uh, a knife. And, of course, you're going to need your uh, T10 uh, Torx bit to take that one uh, bolt out. Uh, so what we're going to do, in the original one, you're going to cut the actual fuse, the end of the fuse itself, and then you're going to cut the other side. Now the fuses are hooked on here to a crimper, 
So the old fuse actually went into the little crimp there and that's how they did it. Um, so you'll just cut that and then I'm, I actually on this one, I just uh, um, soldered it on so I didn't take that crimp off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off because this is the old one. Uh, what I do like to do, well, let's go this step first. Uh, so with the bottom one here that's attached to the gun itself, uh, you are going to, you're going to cut the crimp off because they're crimped on both sides. Cut the crimp off, strip back the wire, uh, and you're going to want to put a little solder on the wire. Uh, I've already got some on here from the last time I did it. Uh, and then you're going to put a little solder on the top of the crimp. And as you can see, I've already have uh, solder on the top of the crimp. Uh, but we'll go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, all you're going to do is just melt it a little bit and throw it on there and put it as thick as thin as you want. Uh, with the new one, obviously we don't need all of this. So we're going to leave maybe a quarter inch. You really don't need a whole lot on there. That's really all you need. And then we're going to take... And we're going to do, let's do the back side first. And we are going to heat that up. And that's on there. Um, it's on there pretty good. It's on there good enough. Uh, so now we're going to do this front one here. And this is where it gets a little difficult. You really don't have that third hand that you need. So we're going to heat this up down here. And that's on. Don't put, don't leave your gun uh, too close to it for too long because uh, this can heat up and it's already pretty hot. Uh, and this can heat up and burn up as well, uh, even just trying to put a new one on. Uh, and that's basically it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back on. And this is kind of where the tricky part is, where you want to uh, super glue this back on. And I'm going to put this, and I'm just going to wrap it onto there. You can throw a small zip tie on there as, if you want, uh, but I'm just going to leave that on there like that. Uh, you are going to want to leave the pocket, and we'll move this up so it's a little easier. You are going to want to leave this pocket open here, just like that, because that's where the bolt that's on the inside of here goes into. So you're gonna leave it just like that. You're gonna throw the board in and then you're kind of just gonna squish everything down in there. Make sure that the, the bunch of wires that are here are uh, in this little cutout here. Kind of shove it down in there, give it a nice press And then just squish it together. There are some clips there. Those clips are in. Take that small screwdriver and kind of play with it a little bit. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and throw this on. Put the tip on. We are going to take that paper off. Tighten that down. You can take the paper off or leave it back on. I've seen that it uh, sticks on there pretty well. And let's throw battery in it. All right, so since we got to uh, put it back together, uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on here. See, it's got two batteries. I'll wait about 10 seconds. There you go. And now it's on. Uh, and just to make sure, you can see you got the smoke. And it's already, uh, already fully at temp. Uh, so yeah, if you, um, like I said, I'll put these uh, link in the description where I got these, or you can 
um, uh, Google, uh, any of these, the fuses for here, and they'll uh, set you up with that. Uh, but if you like the video, uh, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything here, uh, go ahead and uh, put that in the comments below, and I'll get back with you. Until next time, guys.